Hello, you are with Ayush. Subscribe to my channel for interesting information and don't forget to like, share and comment. The greatest rivalry in tennis resumed in Miami after Roger Federer and Rafael Nadal locked horns in the final, at a venue where the two met for the first time ever. It was 13 years ago, at Crandon Park on Key Biscayne where the two first faced each other on a court in an ATP Tour event. A 17-year-old Nadal beat his Swiss opponent, already the world number one, 6-3, 6-3 in the third round of the tournament. The Spanish star might have been hoped to produce the same result today but his Swiss compatriot proved just too good for him on the day. The 35-year-old Federer secured a 6-3, 6-4 victory over 30-year-old Nadal and there were hardly any phases in the match in which the latter looked to be getting the better of the former. This is Federer 19th victory of the year, having just lost one encounter thus far, continuing his renaissance after long injury absence in 2016 which saw him skip the Rio Olympics as well. If you don't lose, you cannot enjoy the victories. So I have to accept both things, said Nadal accepting his defeat on the day. Here's the moment Federer lifted earned himself the Miami crown. Going into the decider, the duo had most wins in the year so far but Nadal hasn't been able to convert wins into titles which was the same case here today as well while Federer on the other hand has with the Australian Open and Indian Wells, defeating Nadal in the final on both occasions. This was Roger Federer's Cara's third Miami Open title. Yeah.